We've told you about foods that fight cancer. Today, we're talking about what you or a loved one can eat to help treat the disease after your diagnosis. Dietitian Allie Miller is here. She has a lot of clients who have cancer and they talk about this passion that she has to help with their treatment. So foods can actually help in the treatment of cancer once right. the diagnosis is made? Yes, so there's a concept of complementary alternative treatment. And a lot of people are seeking this out when they feel that the drug options, radiation, chemotherapy maybe aren't the only option for them. And during the time of treatment, a lot of times there's undesired side effects. So using food as medicine, we can support their treatment plan and provide better outcomes. Now, aren't there foods that are better than others when you're thinking in terms of specifically targeting those who have cancer? Yes, so there's foods that actually fight cancer, as we saw with the broccoli, the I3Cs and sulfonarones in those sulfur-containing foods like the cruciferous, the broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, help to detoxify the body and actually fight cancer cells. Then there's also foods that have a lot of antioxidants like berries and um, leafy greens that help to process the antioxidant processes to fight against cancer as well. Um, but then there's foods that support the treatment and can cool and soothe the system. And um, that's what we're gonna focus on with this kudzu pudding today. Okay, uh, cool and soothe the system. That yes. sounds like a dessert or something sweet that you might want to just dig into just about any time. Right, well one of the issues with, during treatment is weight loss um, and especially for those that don't want to lose weight, we need to make sure that we can keep them nourished and so we want to find foods that are palatable. A lot of times during treatment there's a lot of taste adversions and there can be even oral sores or ulcerations down the esophagus leading to difficulty swallowing. So you need something that is going to go down smoothly. Yes. Yes, yes. And the kudzu root, actually, we'll start with this. This is a Japanese root. We're going to mix it. Uh, we're just going to kind of crush it up a little bit with the back of a spoon and mix it with a couple tablespoons of water. Mm -hmm. What this will do, it's going to dissolve it in the water. very quickly. Yeah, very easily. It's going to thicken, and the kudzu actually creates kind of a gelatinous coating to help to heal those ulcers, so it can really help with the treatment plan. We're just going to quickly blend that with some frozen peaches. We're going to put in um, some coconut milk. Ooh, that already sounds good. Yeah, so the coconut milk will have those <laughs> nice essential fats to keep the body balanced. And then some anti-inflammatory um, and support for nausea, our fresh ginger root. So that's actually going to be fighting the cancer and help with the side effect of the nausea. I'm going to put a little bit of honey in here as well. And then we'll blend this up. So the kudzu in the water stays out until we're going to heat it. And the process of just slightly heating that kudzu allows for the starch to spread, and that's going to create more of a thickness, like a pudding texture. Mm -hmm. Let's that up. Now, you use honey. Can you use something like a, a agave root nectar? You could use agave root. Agave root is kind of on the... Uh, spin down, I think, of a health food, actually. Really? We, yeah, we thought that it was high glycemic, um, low glycemic, meaning that it doesn't spike the sugars too rapidly, which is a good thing. But the way that it's processed, actually, it's all going to be metabolized by the liver, and the liver is the primary detoxifying organ. So when you're going through treatment and going through all of those chemicals that are processing in the body, we'd want to keep the agave actually out, and I would recommend uh -huh. the raw and filtered honey. honey. Uh -huh. So all we're going to do with this is just pour this into our pan uh -huh. here. And then if you wouldn't mind turning on the stove top for me, all we'll do is consistently whisk it, mix in our kudzu water mixture, and then and give then it a it turns whirl. into a pudding. A nice thick pudding, right. And you could keep this cold. Um, things that are cold tend to be better for nausea as well versus things that are heated. Uh -huh. You stir it consistently for about five minutes, and then you just set it in the fridge to cool. And then you chow down on it. Yes, absolutely. Oh, now, we're going to let our viewers know that you have this, what is it, fight with a fork. Yeah, fight with your fork. It's a yeah. cancer support group. And I just saw a big need for people that are going through treatment or have family members that are going through treatment to learn more about food as medicine and use this. It's four classes on Tuesday evening starting October 8th. You can register at naturallynourishedrd.com or you can go Naturally Nourished RD on Facebook and like my page to keep updated on events. Okay, that information will be on myfoxhouston.com. Ellie, thank you so very much. You, you always come up with some interesting <laughs> things that really are healthy. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.